Five practical prints I found for the kitchen. Hey guys, so today I want to do another Practical Prince video. Hey, my, the Practical Prince videos are my best performers on the channel. So I thought I would devote some time to another one of the Practical Prince. And these are Practical Prince that I have printed for my home. Uh, I'm starting to renovate our kitchen. Our kitchen doesn't look that great, so I'm starting to renovate it. And I found a series of prints online that I can use to clean up my kitchen and to organize things and then I also found some stuff around a Breville coffee machine which I'll talk about just now. Guys my Practical Prints videos are they are really designed to show you what I love about 3D printing. 3D printing for me is about practical printing. If you print practical prints then they become functional, they can save you money because you don't have to go buy these expensive things like this, this pot over here which is 500 Rand bought. I printed it for a couple of bucks. So yeah, guys, this is, I'm excited about this video. So let's get started. Let's get straight into it. And let's talk about these practical prints. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like if you like this video. Only if you feel like it though. Okay, right. My first print is, if you look at this picture, I've got some items hanging off of this first item. So I found this, all the links to these prints are below uh, on Thingiverse, uh, below in the description. So check out this one first. Now what this does is, okay, these clips do come off easy, uh, but it, it works very well. I'm hanging this against a wall and I'm using this to hang up items uh, for the crockery for cooking right above the stove, out of the way. It's printed in PLA and it, withstands the heat because it's far away from the, the stove. It's not too close to the stove. But it's a great practical print because now I have everything I need right in front of the face where my wife does. Uh, my wife absolutely loves these prints. And it's a really good idea to do something like this that uh, will get your wife to buy into your 3D printer because it makes it more of a worthwhile product for the whole family, not just for yourself, for your tinkerer, for you doing things, but you're actually doing practical prints for the house and for the home and for the kitchen. Uh, I'll be doing a practical prints one about uh, light fittings and stuff that I've printed for the home. Some great stuff, really good fun. So our second item on our list, without further ado, is a uh, paper roll holder. I use a lot of paper rolls with my coffee machine uh, to clean out the portafilter, filter. And this is a great little uh, contraption. You hook this up like that. You stuff your, your uh, these two into the ends of the paper and away you go. You've got your roller and it's neat out of the way and also lets that paper roller be always accessible but never gets wet. It doesn't, you know, we used to leave it on the counter it would get wet, we get water in it, and that would cause a problem. Now, I recently bought a Breville coffee machine. So the next three prints are very much associated to my Breville coffee machine. But, but the idea is I went on and I searched. If you look at this list that I'm showing on the screen now, this is a list of thingy-verse things that I found uh, for my machine. All I typed in was Breville and I've got a whole bunch of a whole slew of things that I can print for my coffee machine. Now, this is the second Breville coffee machine I owned. The first one was I bought second hand and it lasted me about four years and eventually died. And uh, I decided recently to buy a new coffee machine because my old coffee machine was giving me a few hassles. So I bought a new one. I, I, guys, you know, I love my coffee. Coffee, come on, coffee, coffee's it. Eh? So yeah, I really love my coffee. So I bought a new Breville machine and um, I've now got two of these porta filters and I used to just rest it on top of the machine and get in the way in the, in locked in. But when it's locked in, moisture builds up inside here and it becomes a little bit, you know, not so great, okay? So I 3D printed these little holders. These holders are specifically designed to hold the Breville um, porta filter against the wall. So I've mounted two of these up against the wall and I've got two porta filters hanging there. So now it serves two person purposes. Firstly, it gets it out the way. And secondly, it keeps, it dries this out. This dries out in the air and it keeps, it's more hygienic. So I really, 
I love these prints. They they just serve the purpose that I want. I looked out for the Breville Portal Filter Holder and bang, there it is on Cineverse. So guys, just when you when you need to do something, go look at Malay. Malay do a whole bunch of attachments for their for their uh, vacuum cleaners, and they give you like the quality of their designs. They've obviously got a design department that designs 3D prints free of charge. Guys, they're free. You go and download them free and you print them for your device that you bought online or you bought in a store and you now atta add attachments to it, making things better. They've got a thing in there where you can put a drill, um, a, a vacuum into this, this device. You can then drill into a wall and this sucks in the air through here, uh, pulling all the dust into the vacuum cleaner rather on the floor. Just some ingenious, ingenious designs that are out there. Now, another thing that you want with this is when you finish with your grains and you finish doing your grains, you want to be able to do something a knock box, okay? You can knock box into a dustbin. You can just lock it into the dustbin, but I don't like doing that. I prefer getting a knock box. I was thinking of buying a knock box, but then I 3D printed one. A little bit of a caveat here. Firstly, with this print, uh, I was testing run, uh, uh, filament run out. So it ran out, worked, and carried on printing, which was great. But... I printed this in PLA and uh, my uh, housekeeper decided to put this in the dishwasher and that's what happened. You can see that it's not all that straight, it's warped a bit. That is one of the problems with PLA, it's not dishwasher safe. So use something like ABS or PETG. So I'm going to reprint this in ABS and uh, that unfortunately did happen. But yes, that's what happens. You know, this is how we learn, we, we come into problems. Finally, my final print for this for this episode is this magnificent device. When you pour granules into the coffee, so you put your, your portal filter in, you start, you press the button and it pours the granules in. The granules are very loosely packed, so it piles up above here and you've got to use your fingers to compact it. And when you pull it out, a whole bunch of coffee falls out onto the, onto the tray and onto your counter. When you do this, more coffee falls, you push it down, more coffee falls on there, you take your thing and then you're fine. With this device, check this out, that clicks in like that. It's perfectly designed to fit that. This is unbelievable, beautifully designed, okay? Fits in and then you take this and you hang that and you pour your coffee in. When you finish, you put your, your temper in here straight Temper it down a bit, take this off, temper still sits in there and you can finally temper your coffee and get that perfect tempering that I love to do with manual making coffee. That getting that temper just right is, is oh, that's what it's all about. So yeah, this this has been, it's, it's saved number one on coffee because I'm not spilling so much. And I'm telling you, a lot falls out of the sides of this when you when you are uh, putting it through. And the other thing about this is uh, it's just made my life easier and it's the one bugbear I had with the machine being fixed. I found this on just by searching Breville and I looked and I found this thing here. Unbelievable. Really wonderful design. The link to it is in the description below. Huge kudos to the guy who designed it. Um, I'll put up his name on the screen and it I just love this as a practical print. So all of these are practical prints for the kitchen and they make a huge difference. They make a difference in my daily life. Um, I'm going to continue printing items for the kitchen and for the house. And uh, we recently, we had a problem with the, the cats. We had, I wanted to buy a cat flap and the cat flap was a ridiculous price. Absolutely insane. I went onto Thingiverse searched for the cat flap, found a, a decent one, that one that worked for my, my uh, uh, situation, 3D printed it and installed it on the front door, cut a hole in the front door, installed it and it works like a charm. The cats know exactly where to go, they don't have to jump up through a window so we can close the window if we want to and they can go through that cat flap. Guys, practical printing in 3D printers is, is a reality. You know, there are so many different times when you come up against something that you can't figure out. I printed, what else have I printed? I printed for my camera, for the camera that I'm recording on now, the Canon EOS printer, uh, ca sorry, the Canon EOS camera, uh, printers on the mind. I printed an adapter to go onto my telescope, my wife's telescope, and it worked. It wasn't the greatest, I got to look a little bit deeper into that, but it was something that was there and we could do. 
Uh, there are so many different examples of practical prints. And for me, a 3D printer must be practical. It must print the practical stuff, the stuff that works. I'm saying practical a lot, aren't I? So yes, I'm sure I'm going to get some comments about that. So that's the end of this video of this practical prints. Thanks for liking these videos and let me know if you want to see more practical prints. I love doing them and it's stuff that I use daily. I didn't go out and print these for this video, but this is what this video has culminated in because of these items that I already have. So as usual, now I've got into the end of my segment. I want to thank Don from 3Drone uh, for your support on Patreon. Uh, go check out Don's website. The link is in the description below. And Kelly from Let's Get Clacking. Uh, let's go check out her description below in her YouTube channel. Go support her in her YouTube channel. And uh, thank you guys for supporting my channel. If you want to support my channel, you can click on the Patreon link. I am creating a memberships uh, item soon. I got invited by uh, YouTube to create my memberships. So I will be creating that. I've created all the icons. I've just got to create the video and make it enticing to you guys but any support that I get in the in the channel being it uh, through patreon through the memberships or through machines and donations of, of uh, filament uh, I really appreciate guys this is it just supports the channel allows me to do what I love doing and we can keep making these great videos guys thanks for watching take care be safe and see you soon